Hello, welcome to the channel. I found some rules for the shock jump dragster and the custom booster blaster. That was in the Speed Freaks box that Games Workshop sent me, so I thought I'd do a quick video about it without showing you any pictures of the rules because then they'll tell me off. But uh, let's jump straight into it. The shock jump dragster, which you can see on the screen, um, moves 14, and the custom booster blaster, which you can see on the screen, moves 12. Apart from that, the remaining stat lines for both of these vehicles are the same. They've got a weapon skill of 4 up, so these vehicles can attack on a 4 up with 4 attacks at strength 5, which is interesting. 4 attacks from a vehicle hitting you at strength 5. Blister skill of 5, obviously, they're orcs. Strength 5, toughness 6, 8 wounds, uh, leadership 6, and a 4 up save. Now the shock jump dragster is 6 power, so that's probably coming in about 90 points before you add guns to it. And the custom booster blaster is coming in at 5 power, which is somewhere in the region of 70-75 points before you add guns to it. Then it got me thinking, what else is toughness 6 with 8 wounds and a 4 up save? Well I guess killer cans come close to it, or things that are dark Eldar tend to be toughness 6, don't they? With a 4 up save, but they can be hard to hit, or with invulnerable saves. So they're not intact, exactly resilient, but the dragster and the booster blaster can come in squads of 1 to 3. Yeah, three of these things shooting across the battlefield. Both vehicles have the abilities. Here we go, mob rule, daka daka daka, and speed mob. No idea what speed mob does, but uh, those are the abilities that they have. So what does the shock jump dragster do? Well, looking at the rules, um, it's got three types of attacks. It's got the saw blades at the front. Saw blades mean their strength six, minus one, one damage when they chew into you. That's with four attacks hitting on fours. So four attacks, hitting on fours, strength six, minus one. It can hit stuff, that's nice. But it's got two guns. One is a rocket launcher, which is assault one, strength eight, minus two, three damage, 24 inch range. So that thing is going to be hitting on a five. It's not going to be hitting very much. It's an orc. But it's also got a custom shock rifle, which you can see over the bonnet there. And one of the abilities is a grot gunner and targeting squig. So you add two to hit rolls for attacks made with this model's cuffs custom shock rifle. So this orc vehicle, zipping around all over the place, is hitting on a three instead of hitting on a five because of the grot gunner and targeting squig. Add two to hit rolls for attacks made with this model's custom shock rifle. Interesting. And what is a custom shock rifle? Well, it's an assault two 24 inch range weapon. Okay, that's nice. Out of those two shots hitting on threes, at least one of them's getting through. But it's strength eight, and it's minus three AP, and it's D6 damage. It's a missile launcher. Awesome. On a movement 14 vehicle, zip it around all over the place. So this guy, you probably want to zip him right, zip him left, try not to get into combat very much, and uh, shoot stuff with his big missile launcher. However, if the custom rock shock rifle has a rule, which if you roll one or more unmodified hit rolls of one for this weapon, the bearer suffers a mortal wound after all of this weapon's attacks have been resolved. Okay, so on ones to hit, you're taking a mortal wound. However, each time you make a wound roll of a six plus for this weapon, the target suffers one mortal wound in addition to any other damage. Great. So on sixes, you're doing mortal wounds to your enemy. When you rolled a hit, on ones, you're doing mortal wounds to yourself, so you have just as much chance to damage yourself as you have to dance, damage your enemy. Very orky, very nice. But zipping around all over the place, on this chassis, firing something that hits on threes from an orc codex, that's very, very interesting. It's also got another special rule called shock tunnel. So uh, whenever you advance with this model, if you roll a four plus, you can remove it from the battlefield and set it up anywhere on the battlefield more than nine inches away from any enemy units. After you've done so, you roll a dice and on a four up, the model suffers a mortal wound. Brilliant. So if you need to get out of dodge or if you want to get out of dodge, if you roll a four up when you advance, zip to the other side of the battlefield once you've done it. Don't roll a four up again and you won't take a mortal wound. So uh, the ability to pick up and redeploy is a nice little touch with its, um, with its shock tunnel. The fact that it hits on threes with a missile launcher, two shot missile launcher, is also very nice as well. The fact that it doesn't degrade because it's got less than 10 wounds is nice. Um, but it's probably coming in at about 80, 90 or 100 points. I, I want to say 90 or 100 points 
before you uh, once you've added some guns to it. Anyway, that's the shock jump dragster. Let's go on to the custom booster blaster. So um, the custom booster blaster is equipped with a rivet cannon, four burner exhausts, and each model's crew is armed with stick bombs and grot blasters. So grot blasters are pistols, stick bombs are grenade D6, strength three, but um, it's got a rivet cannon and four burner exhausts. So the burner exhaust is an assault D3 weapon that automatically hits its target at strength four. So basically it's an assault D3 flamer with an eight inch range. It's got four of them. So if anything comes within eight inch range of it, then you're doing four D3 strength four hits with your burner exhaust at it. This thing is belching flame. Also, if it gets charged by anything, they've got to go through four D3 strength four automatic hits as they go charging into the custom booster blaster. Um, it's got a grok gunner, so you can add one to hit rolls for attacks made with a model's grok blaster. It's got the riding shotgun rule. When this model shoots, it can throw a grenade and shoot with its pistols in addition to any other weapons. So basically all the DAC are all the time. Normally you can't chuck a grenade and fire other, um, other stuff. Or you, if you fire pistols, that's the only thing you can fire. But in this case, they're chucking grenades, they're firing pistols. The, um, when this model shoots, riding shotgun. It's got a spiked ram at the front. And each time this model finishes a charge move, select an enemy unit within one inch of it and roll a d6. And on a four up, that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. So that's nice as well. Um, if you're ramming stuff and you've got your flamer in there, it's I think it's supposed to get in there and do some attacks, basically. And then the rivet cannon, the big gun on top, is an assault six weapon. It is going to be hitting on fives. It is an orc and it hasn't got any way to modify that. There aren't any... Um, grot gunners or targeting squigs here. So it's an assault six strength seven minus two uh, damage to weapon on the top. So the custom booster blaster has got a mix of guns all the time firing in all sorts of different directions. It's got a 36 inch range river cannon, which is chucking down a lot of DACA six shots, but let's face it, only a couple of them are ever hitting, but it is strength seven minus two, two damage. That's nice. It's also got some close range stuff with its burner exhaust. That's nice. It's got its grot blasters and stick bombs that it's throwing out all the time, which is nice, but they're short range, eight inch range and on the burner exhaust and six inch range on the stick bombs. And uh, if it rams stuff on a four up, it can do D3 mortal wounds. You can take it in squads of three again. So this is, this is a bit of a mix of all trades, this thing. You can leave it zipping around the back if you want to, or you could take a squad of three of them and zip them straight up the battlefield and just cause trouble, do orky things with it. Where I think the shock jump dragster is something that you probably want to keep out of dodge and try and use that uh, missile launcher, the custom shock rifle that uh, hits on a three instead of hitting on a five. Uh, that one's something else that you're probably going to keep in the backfield and throwing DACA down screen. But I say backfield, the custom shock rifle's only 24 inch range as well. So relative backfield, it's orcs. They fight differently to people. Um, so those are the rules behind the two new vehicles that you can get in the Speed Freaks, Freaks, Speed Freaks box set. Um, they're very interesting. I like the shock trump dragster. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. Happy wargaming.